Now till now we have seen how we can set the variables for into our program, different types of variable how we can use into our shell program as well as we have seen certain set of the pre or existing variables which we have that is a special variable into Linux operating system. Now here we are going to see how many kind of variable and what the types of variable generally will be using for creating an array of data into a special variable or into a particular variable. That's the reason we are going to see how we can add multiple values into a same array called as shell arrays. So into this shell arrays we have two type of array which we generally create called as a scalar array and also the array. Scalar variables are those variables which can store only one data at a time into the variable. For example, a equals to 1, that is the scalar variable. Now, if I'm talking about the array of data or array of value we want to add into a particular variable, I'll be using an array. So, array equals to the number of variables or the number of values you want to add, you can add into the array. So let us see how we can use or how we can add multiple values into a particular variable into the Linux shell scriptings. So let us begin with our terminal now. So into our previous video, we have defined the variable or a special kind of variable, the various scalar variable. Scalar variables means they can store only one file at a time. So let us check what we have done there and why we are moving into the array.sh. Like now, we are going to define the array values so um, if I take an example I'm going to define the name as Jones and again I'm going to define the variable as Jerry but here the variable is the same and the values are different and if I define or if I check for you know uh, printing a particular file or the name here by defining in such a way I'll just save it correct and when I run this particular file, the script file, it is just showing me Jerry. What it will do is, it will just ignore the variable value you have added at the first stage. It will take the latest one. So that's what it has pulled. So, but now I want uh, to use the same variables and I want to add multiple values. Like for example, if you are schooling or if you are in college, you will be in the same standard right so the class will be same so if a class is same oh, I am going to add multiple students into the class same here we are going to add this particular names of the you know people into the name variable so for that for adding multiple values into a variable is called as array of variable we are going to add for that what I'm going to do is I'll be adding just an index here that is name and value 0 same we can add name value 1 right again if I want to add more uh, you know names to the same variable we can use this okay, and I'll define name And then, right? Index we are going to add as four, right? So there are many uh, files we have added. Now, if I want to display this entries and uh, I want to you know, call these names, what I'll be doing is I'll be defining it dollar sign and name. Along with the name, we need to define the index. Just close the bracket here. So what it will do? It will print name zero so this is how it will call your first name or we can also use you know curly braces here so i can also use the curly braces like this way and here again this way right so it will print the first name i want to print the third name so I'll give again the same way for the braces name that is the second because we are starting from one so I want the third name to be displayed let us check we'll give and run the file name array dot sh just a sec uh, there is certain error 
we need to look where we have made the error okay so here I need to close this quotations as well let us check now as such error as it's really showing you hello June and hello Ellie. so this is what uh, how we add the array of your different names or different values to the same particular parameter now what if, if I want to just check all the names at a time so for that I can also give the command uh, here I'll give the instruction I'll be using this same special kind of variables to display the complete variable that I'm going to do is in such a way echo names equals to list of array values I'm going to define r comma dollar and asterisk right but dollar and asterisk we are again going to define in such a way again we'll start dollar again we are going to start with name into the square brackets I'll define this way close your curly braces and then this correct either you can use asterisk or you can use your address sign both works here I can also define list two array right so again the same way name here in spite of you know asterisk I can also define at rate I'm going to close the braces and quotation same if I want to check for the count of your arrays so I'll define same way dollar curly braces name in a value we'll just define hash okay so let us print this all we'll find as such array dot as such okay so it's not accepting the count okay but the others are visible so let me remove the count here so we can check now so we can also check for the count later on that we are going to see but here now it is showing you the list of the all the array values you have added to it right so these are the four values I have added starting from 0 through 3 right the same way we can check into the cat array dot sh right so this is are the four to five values I've added so starting from your Jones, Jerry, Sarli, Annie and Sony so these are the values that I'm able to display here so this is how you can add a number of values into the same variable forming an array so into next video we are going to see more about your different you know advanced programming where I'm going to show you how you can use the operators into your programs and till now we were working on the complete uh, text documents now I'm going to use some numbers and I'm going to operate the number using those arithmetical operators